Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day and a lot of things had to go right for this video to happen. We are going to take a look at how much the best before dates matter on these batteries. And so um, just to give you an idea of how this all came out, I was renovating a house during the quarantine and so I was able to pretty much stay inside with just my wife and we turned uh, this into this and in doing that, I was cleaning out the house and I came across some Dollar Tree batteries. And so these say they're best before May of 2020 and it is now June of 2020. So I went to the dollar store and I bought the very same brand of batteries except the ones I purchased today say they're good through September 2022. Um, along with that, just for the heck of it since I have the test equipment out, I bought this three pack or no, I found this three pack and it is January 2019 of C batteries. And I had recently purchased some more January 2022 C batteries from Dollar Tree. So um, I have those. And what made all this come together was the fact that I had found these batteries and then you guys had purchased some stuff off of Amazon and allowed me to get this um, this electronic load for free and so i thought you know with everything kind of working together let me just put this stuff together and see how much these expiration dates really matter on the batteries and while i have the test equipment out um i also found these and these are march 2016 uh duracell so i'm sort of interested in knowing if these duracell batteries will actually have more power than the new ones you know we'll see i don't know i have zero clue and then i also have somewhere around here yep a set of new uh december 2025 duracell batteries so we'll throw those in there and test i'm not going to sit here and video the entire test because i need my bench for some other things but we'll go through and we'll do a little bit of initial testing and see what we come up with Okay, the results are in and I think they're pretty interesting. The first test was a 200 milliamp drawdown of these three sets of batteries. We have our Sunbeam AA heavy duties that expired a month ago. Uh, these expire in two years and these expire in 2025 and these are alkaline. Uh, now we're mainly comparing these two against each other and they both checked in at 1.65 volts with no load on them. And then uh, as a pair, these put out 344 milliamps, these 360, so only a 16 milliamp uh, hour difference. And so, you know, basically st uh, statistically insignificant. We've got hour and 42 minutes of runtime here and an hour and 47 minutes here. So the, the moral of this story is that there was no difference in the batteries that were two years older. Very, very slight capacity drop. I decided to throw these in for good measure and these are the alkalines which you would expect to perform better. They're also not expired. But as a pair, they put out 1,692 milliamp hours and ran for eight, point, or eight hours and 23 minutes. So, yeah, pretty big difference there. Nothing too surprising except the fact that there's not really a major difference between this and this. So those tests were so close that I decided I probably cooked the batteries by putting a 200 milliamp uh, load on them. And I thought these are heavy duty batteries and they're low drain. I didn't think 200 would be too much, but uh, just to see, I went ahead and did a 50 milliamp rundown. And in that situation, these ran for, uh, nine hours and nine minutes these nine hours and 11 minutes so a whole two minutes difference the expired set put out 522 milliamp hours while the non-expired set put out 524 so again statistically insignificant so what can we take away from the double a test well these batteries specify that they are for low drain applications and my test did prove that they were able to put out a lot more milliamp hours when drained slowly than when drained quickly. And uh, so basically you get twice the power from, almost twice the power from these when you use them as directed, low drain, 50 milliamps. To me though, the most interesting results were the C batteries. I have a set of Sunbeam Heavy Duty here that expired in January 2019. I have a set that I bought about a week ago that will expire in 2022. 
and again the results are statistically insignificant uh, these have a little bit lower of a no load voltage but when push came to shove these put out 1093 milliamp hours these put out 1106 and uh, we've got a runtime of five hours and five minutes versus five hours of nine minutes so four minutes of runtime difference statistically insignificant now, what really blew my mind is that I had this set of Duracell alkaline batteries that expired in 2016, March of 2016, so over four years ago, um, and I wanted to see how they would do. And so I popped them in the test rig, and I came up with 4,315 milliamp hours and a runtime of 20 hours and four minutes. So the moral of the story that when it comes to something like this, you are better off with four-year-old expired Duracell batteries than you are from brand new Dollar Tree batteries. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below and have a wonderful day. Nine hours and 11 minutes. So a whole two hours difference. So a whole two minutes difference is that you will get twice the... <clears throat> four hour four minutes so four minutes of runtime difference signif sig significantly statistically insignificant this set of duracell batteries that expired and on that bombshell sunbeam batteries are junk have a great day. Thanks for watching.